All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about blow drying. To start out, let's take a closer look on the blow dryer. Usually you have two options, just use it as a regular or you can put on a nozzle. When taking a closer look on the blow dryer, you can see there's different settings. So uh, high heat, medium and no heat at all. So which one should you use? Often I use maximal heat when I'm going to blow dry it to get all of the water out. As soon as it's dried up, then you can go to a medium setting. Maybe you put on the nozzle here and uh, then you can hold it longer time when you spin the brush and uh, not burn off the hair. And as soon as you've got a good setting on your hair, I like to blow it all the way through with cold air. If you don't use that setting, you can just press the cold setting here. You usually use that when you're creating curls. You have a round brush, then you uh, go through with uh, hot air and then to seal the curls, the cold air, and then you do the same movement and it will lock into position. It's the same process as uh, when you harden up steel, you uh, heat it up to maximal degrees and then you cool it down really quick and you get some strong steel out of it. Now it's time to find out which brush I should use. This one is for short hair and this one is for long hair and sometimes it can be good to untangle some of uh, the strains. As you see, it goes right through. And the other one is the skeleton brush. It's great because of the short bristles here for the sides and the longer for the top. And it's extremely easy to spin. And also you have the holes in the, in the comb, so you can blow uh, straight through it when you make your twists and curls and volume or pompadours. First up, you always start out in damped hair. So I'll just apply a little bit of water again. It needs to be moisturized though, all the way to the roots because as soon as it dries up, it's impossible to change the direction of the hair or at least it's really, really hard. Look, just like a shirt that you just crumble together and put it in the, in the locker and you take it out. You need water or something uh, along with the iron to get it completely straightened out. So uh, always start out damped and then you apply the pre-styler. Today I'm going to go with the Bivillain Sidekick Zero, which is a pre-styler with a light styling agent, which you need when you style your hair, because if you blow dry without any products, it will just stand straight out from your scalp and it will be really hard to manage. Now we'll go in with the 10, 15 pumps for this length and I'll blow dry it completely straight backwards. I can tell you I'll start with the sides because these will dry up, dry up really fast. Let's get to it. Now the sides are blow dried into position. It looks really sleek. And now I need to work on the top. So uh, first I'll blow dry the banks to get a good lift. And then I will uh, move my way from the back forwards. And uh, I'll do it the easy way, which is finger combing. So I'll have the fine refined um, details with the comb and the banks. So I'll just push it backwards and uh, let's get to it. Now I just created the maximal amount of volume in my hair. In my uh, styling, I like to have maybe two thirds of this volume. So I'm going to, to show you how to get rid of it. And um, also before that, how to define some details. You can actually, yeah, you can get a good wave going on. 
you just twist and turn. You can already see that it's bending in my direction here. Okay guys, now we just got some uh, volume and we got some texture. You can uh, tell it, it's bending a little bit, so it's like a fine curvy texture. And uh, now I'm going to take off some of the volume just by using the blow dryer. And uh, maybe I'll apply uh, one spray of water to get it uh, even uh, less volume on top. What I did here, I just took the blow dryer and the nozzle and just hold it really uh, close to the hair. And I just do like this, so it's kind of uh, combing with a lot of heat uh, without uh, too much... Uh, I'm actually not even um, gripping the hair, I'm just pushing it down and it will bend in the right direction. So uh, as soon as I make the preparation with the bend here in the sides, the hair will automatically just go this way when I put more heat on it. All right, and you can only do this because of the pre-styling spray and also the heat protection helps you not to burn out the hair when you hold it really close. And um, the last trick to even it out maybe a little bit more, put it closer to the roots. And you can say, why, why build the volume and tear it down afterwards? I can tell you that this process will make the hairstyle last all day. If you don't do it, even though you want a minimal volume, it will still be easier to shake out of place. So build it up and slowly um, pull it closer to the scalp. And I'll finger comb it so you can see that it's getting a little bit wet. And one of our best kept secrets is that you can actually use this as your post styler, both pre and post styler. So just apply it just like a did with the water spray and it will actually stay up. It will work like uh, an, a hairspray. This is the Ordinary Sidekick. It's uh, a little bit more potent than the Sidekick Zero. However, it has uh, almost the same ingredients. This is just organic, this is not and this has anti-frizz uh, agents along with the styling. Then uh, for post-styling, I'll go with five pumps, six, eight. <laughs> okay, and then uh, define this hairstyle. So this type of hold you get out of uh, styling it this way is more like if you have been using a hairspray. Now that we achieved the basic of the blow drying, we can apply some of the Vivalane styling waxes. And in this case, I chose the Wax Zero, which has a great ground hold and it's easy to work around with and manipulate throughout the day. So uh, I think that's a good one for this slick back look. We'll take this amount and now I'm going to uh, make a small surprise. First I'll uh, comb it backwards, and then I'll show you how I re-manipulate the whole hairstyle. So again, I rub it around to create more volume, but uh, it's actually more for the texture this time because of the wax. Now you can see the waves is coming and texture is defined. So uh, this is the first result. This one will definitely last you all day long. Okay, now I'm going to uh, shake it around and build it a little bit forward. 
So this is just to show you all the styling abilities you have as soon as you put in the right products and the right techniques. And to the last trick with the blow dryer, if you have a hairstyle from last day, which is simulated right now, you just take the blow dryer and put some heat on it and uh, reset it backwards. Not that I need it, but it's always a help with a white tooth comb. This is our giant comb from the Biolane line. The XL will also work just fine, but now I have this one, so let's see what it can do. I even think I can go to a gala or something uh, really formal with this hairstyle, apply a little bit of hairspray. It's actually something that I always recommend because it's just the cherry on the cake. But uh, let's see what happens. And that's it for today guys, I hope you liked the video, as always remember to write in the comment section down below what you think about this hair tutorial, and remember to give it a like and be a subscriber and you can win awesome Bivalane hair products. See you guys next time. Yes.